find your fan settings, you need to set up your date and time. If you've not done this already, check out our previous video to learn how. So when you're on the fan settings, you need to change your speed. The set fan speed setting lets you change the temperature and humidity for the day and the night. To change this, simply press the enter key and then use the arrows to adjust accordingly. Press enter to save and then you can change your night temperature and repeat. Save and exit then takes you back to the temperature settings. The bandwidth value is the difference in temperature from when the fans start up and when they're going at full speed. So as an example, if you set your fans to 24 degrees with a bandwidth of 3 degrees, then your fans will not be running at full speed until 27 degrees. Now to change the bandwidth, you do the same as you do for all the others. Press enter and then up and down arrows to change the temperature difference on the bandwidth. Once again, you just need to save and exit and then you can move down to your day and night humidity. You change it exactly the same as if you were changing your temperature. Highlight over which one you want to change again and save and enter. So now your controller is all set up with the date and time, you're able to go into the advanced settings. The first thing we'll look at is your fan settings, which show your minimum speed from your outtake. You change this by pressing enter and then using the up arrows. You've then got the maximum speed which you need to set. Once you've done that, you can save and exit. If you're running different size fans or the same size fans, you'll need negative pressure no matter what in your grow space. This setting allows you to maintain this at all times. If you want to learn more about negative pressure, check out our video with Ian Collins as we talk about grow room smells. So, when you're setting up your fan types, if you're using pure EC, you'll need to change it in the settings to make sure your controller is set up ready for your fan. If you're using AC, you can plug them in straight away into the AC fan intake at the top of the controller and use them straight away. To set up an EC, you need to go through to the menu and scroll down to the general settings and then find the EC fan signal. You go enter again and choose the fan. It gives you the revolution fan setting, hyperfan or PWM output. You need to make sure that you do that before you plug anything in or power them up. The last thing we'll show you is how to set up an auxiliary exit. In this case, we'll set up a humidifier. Bear in mind, you can also use this exit to set up a heater, dehumidifier, or you can use it as a timer for your lights. So find set exit one on the menu. This will set up the left-hand side exit of the bottom of the unit. You have the options to choose your function. At the moment, it's set to power. We want to adjust it and set it in this instance to humidify. Once you click through, you can change the humidity for day and separately for the night setting, giving you full control over your environment again. There's a bandwidth setting for you to play around with also. So that's it. Now you'll be able to get your environment controller set up, add your temperature and humidity settings and use your exit ports. For more information on the Enviro controller, get in touch or pop in store.